wrestling spotlight shines on Tito Santana. The six foot two, 234 pound Latin legend was born and raised in Mission, Texas. Santana starred as a tight end on the West Texas A&M University football team during the early 70s and attended the Kansas City Chiefs training camp in 1975. The wrestling bug caught Tito in the late 70s. Santana began his career at the National Wrestling Alliance and the American Wrestling Association. His greatest success came in the World Wrestling Federation where he became the first Mexican wrestler to hold the Intercontinental title. Santana would also go on to hold the tag team title on several occasions. Holding the distinction of appearing in the first nine WrestleManias, Tito Santana was honored by an induction into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2004. Today, Tito Santana still competes from time to time, but has settled into a quiet life in New Jersey with his wife and children, where he teaches Spanish and coaches middle school basketball. Wrestling War Classic salutes Tito Santana, one of the countless legends of the squared circle. For a long time, I have not been excited about getting into the squared circle that UPW bring in professional wrestling the way it ought to be. What is out there doesn't excite Tito Santana. I feel that a lot of young wrestlers coming into the business of professional wrestling need the likes of Tito Santana, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and you can just go down the list. This young guy is coming into the business. They don't have a clue, and we will give them the lesson that they need to learn wrestling. Number one, arriba! This is senior editor Bill After with a special IWCCW press conference here in the Bahamas with a man that uh, every one of you know. Uh, he's been wrestling for many years and he's the favorite of a lot of you fans out there. I'm talking about the great former intercontinental champion of the WWF, Tito Santana. Welcome to press conference, Tito. Thank you very much, Bill. It's always a pleasure to be at your presence. Uh, and I'd like to say hi to all the fans that are out there listening. Now, Tito Santana recently made quite a statement on professional wrestling. Recently at a show on an IWCCW show, Tito Santana stormed into the ring and went after IWCCW champion Tony Atlas. When Atlas and I held a world championship and held it high, we fought everybody. We challenged everybody. Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, anybody in the WWF, anybody in NWA, WCW, any federation anywhere in the world we would fight like i told you but now tito santana's the champ now what i want to show you and all these nitwits out there because santana was still competing at the time in the wwf and you know you can't use their guys because they're in the wwf and you can't show them right well now we're going to show you how tito santana being the mexican that he is okay i won't use any other adjective other than the mexican that he is Snuck in, okay, back jumped me in Atlas. This is what Tito Santana is all about, okay? Now take a look at the propaganda a, being spewed propaganda, by the Boston facts, Bad Jack, Boy. Just the look. facts, Jack. We will fight anybody in the world. It don't matter anybody. Is there anybody? All challenges, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, anybody in the WWF, NWA. All over the world, this is the man, this is the man, this is the man. Bring him on, John DePontano, Bill Apta, find him, any contender, I don't care who it is, anybody wants to fight the man, bring him on down, bring him on. We're the baddest of the bad, baby. take time off 
if you want to stay on top of the game, you always watch what's going on throughout the country. Absolutely. And I've been keeping an eye on what Tony Atlas, the changes that he's been taking, that, that have taken place in Tony Atlas. And he put out a challenge to anyone, you know? And, and Tony Atlas, I remember him when. And he's made a complete turnaround. And you can just sit back. You know, I, I'm at the point in my career, I've had a good career, but I'm at the point where, you know, I'm not going to be sitting back and just taking I can't even say the word that I want to say yeah. from some of the so-called Tony Atlases, you know. Right. I'm going to do something about it. Tony Atlas, I headed up to here. I took it upon myself to find out where Tony Atlas was going to be on a particular night. I showed up, surprised him, and I accepted the challenge. And okay. that's where it's all started. Okay, it's your no, it's, time it's, to shine. It's okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I know what you mean. We learned about that a couple the of weeks ago. I learned about that a couple of weeks Spanky, ago. Spanky, alfalfa, you know, I'm buckwheat, sorry stymie. if I can't keep up with you. Did you like Dalla when you were a little kid? Did I like Anyway, the way this is going to show, we're going to show you right now. This is almost like, this isn't a Curly's Corner. This will be a Rumble's Review. Okay? <laughs> a Rumble's Let's call review. it a Rumble's Review. Okay. We're going to go back to when I controlled the world tele the world title, okay? I controlled the whole wrestling world. And sure, Tito Santana might have back jumped us, but I didn't care because we had a point to prove. Even though it was gonna be at the tip of his head, that point was gonna be proved, okay? And what we proved was we were the baddest of the bad and we would fight anybody. And Tito Santana, all we're asking is you do the same. Fight us. Cheaters of time. the cheat. Take a look. <laughs> All right, fans, welcome back to International World Class Championship Wrestling. Christopher Cruz here, and this is it. The main event is for all the marbles. For the International World Class Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship, Tito Santana taking on the champion, Tony Atlas, in the beautiful Bahamas. Santana has uh, met the challenges, has agreed to meet the challenges of Tony Atlas. Atlas, who had complained that there was nobody who could challenge him for his title. The collar and elbow tie-up now, and again, the powerful Atlas powers right out of it. As Atlas taunts Tito Santana. He says, is this all the WWF has got to offer? That and more, no doubt about that. And Santana again, he powers Atlas over. Santana, no slouch in the power department. He doesn't have the guns, the arms, the muscular development of Tony Atlas. But don't think Santana at 248 pounds is a weakling. He blocks a right, then a left, then delivers a right and a left of his own. A hip toss, and Tony Atlas goes flying. Arm drag. Santana so fast, another arm drag. And a third. Atlas is shaken. He's staggered. A big slam. The fans here in the Bahamas are going nuts. In Atlas, he's going nuts too, but in a different way. Santana's staying in the ring as Atlas gets a back massage by the Boston Bat Boy. The fans here in the Bahamas really love Tito Santana, the former World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion. Tony Atlas, a former tag team champion in the World Wrestling Federation. There was a time when both of these individuals were on the same side of the law. That's not the case now. Tony Atlas has gone over to the dark side. The two former friends, and now what is going to turn into, we think, a very vicious blood feud. And we could mean that literally. And now the smiling Tony Atlas says, hey, Tito, it was all a mistake. I was just kidding. Let's shake hands, be friends, and battle a scientific match. Tito Santana, as much of a veteran as he is, may be falling under the spell of the admittedly charismatic Tony Atlas, apparently not though, a collar and elbow tie-up. And Atlas turns it into a full Nelson. This can be so powerful and so painful. They go to work now, and you see the Boston bad boy, oh, we hope you see him anyway, signaling for the bell, he won't get it. Santana breaks the full Nelson. He turns it around on Atlas, and Atlas doesn't want to feel the pain that he knows a full Nelson can inflict. He goes right to the roof. 
and follows it up with a shut up to the crowd. The referee calls for the break. Atlas without the clean break. He backs Santana up in the turnbuckle. It looks like an Irish whip coming up. Santana reverses it, however. He follows in a monkey flip. Atlas just barely pulled out by Tito Santana, who threatens a solid right to Atlas, who's calling for a timeout. He's saying, wait a minute. And fans, you know as well as I do, there are no timeouts in this great sport of ours of professional wrestling. Santana is backed up. It's a balmy but a tiny bit muggy night here in the Bahamas. If you weren't sweating already, once you get into the ring, once two huge men, powerful men like Tito Santana and Tony Atlas get inside a ring, they're gonna be feeling the effects of this weather. It's gorgeous here, but let me tell you, when you exert what these gentlemen are doing, you are gonna feel it, you're gonna sweat and you're gonna be in pain from holes like this. Atlas goes to the ropes, that'll call for the break, and Santana says no. He hangs on to the left wrist there of Atlas. A combined twist to the arm and a wrist lock there, very painful, and Santana follows it up with an elbow, a second one. He's not holding back. This guy is going for the World's Heavyweight Championship here in International World Class Championship Wrestling. We're staring at the belt right now. It's a beautiful belt. It looks good around the waist of Tony Atlas. We'll admit it would look even better around the waist of the Mexican superstar, Tito Santana. And Atlas says he's going to do a clean break here. And that's the last thing we're going to see from this madman, Tony Atlas, the champ. A head that rocks Santana. He's face first into the mat. The double axe handle blow there from Atlas. Again, and the tide is clearly turned as Tony Atlas now dominates the superstar Tito Santana. A grab of the long locks of Santana. And Atlas grabs the nose. Oh, no. I don't think we'll talk about that. Good Lord. Dig it. Santana's head snaps back after that vicious thrust. Face first into the turnbuckle. A right to the abdomen. It doubles over Tito Santana, who's now again prone, prostrate, on the mat. Atlas goes for the double axe handle blow. It's blocked by Tito Santana with a right to the abdomen. Who follows it up with another right. Santana gets such velocity, he comes out of left field at you. An Irish whip here into the turnbuckle. Santana moves in right into an uplifted knee. And again, Santana is prostrate on the mat. He's lying flat. He's trying to make his way up. But Atlas clearly has dominated these last few minutes. He may be signaling again for the full Nelson. Decides not to do it. Atlas, as well as Tito Santana, can come from way out with those rights. Now the bear hug. Intended not to beat an opponent as it has in so many other matches. Now, in this new era of wrestling, intended to weaken the opponent. Tito Santana, if he's got any wrestling smarts at all, and fans, you know as well as I do that he does, that he's gonna try to break out of that as best he can. Atlas with those football tackles, those shoulder thrusts and blocks into the abdomen of Tito Santana. He's getting him in front and in back. Both men now huffing and puffing. Clearly, this action has taken its toll on both of these great superstars. Look. You don't need to love Tony Atlas. You don't even need to like him to respect the guy for the champion that he is. And Tito Santana as well. 
It's just, it's much easier, frankly, to like Tito Santana than it is to like Tony F. Again, the Boston bad boy, the manager of the champion, Tony Atlas, says he wants the bell rung. It could be. Santana's arm goes limp a second time. No, it's up. Santana's arm is up. A right. That breath. Atlas was wobbling, and so was Santana, but Santana is down. Atlas goes to work on Santana now on the second rope. And a body slam there by Santana. Well, some of the fans think this is funny, but let me tell you, folks, this plane hurts. A tremendous drop kick by the Mexican superstar. This is going to be it. Here goes one, two, and Atlas's foot, were, foot on the ropes. That's right. And you saw it. Tony Rumble did it. Again, Tito Santana thwarted in his efforts to become the international world-class championship heavyweight champion. A big body slam. Santana signals for that flying forearm that has done so much damage to so many wrestlers in the past. This is it. We've got a new champion about to be crowned. Here comes one, two, and again, Tony Rumble. Again, Tony Rumble puts the, the leg of Tony Atlas on the rope. Santana has got Rumble up on the ring apron. He's about to clock Tony Rumble. He does it with a forearm. The referee signals to ring the bell. Atlas, it looks like he's got a foreign object. Ring the bell, he says. Tony Atlas going to work on Tito Santana. In comes TD Madison. He's clocked. In comes Invader number three. He's clocked as well by Tony Atlas. You know, I am disgusted to be sitting here with you. Why? I'm appalled. Why? The brass knuckles. Give me a break, Tony Rumble. I thought you said the only object you needed was first your brains, Tony Atlas's bronze, and then maybe occasionally the batting helmet. Okay, maybe I can let that go, because I've seen it. I know the type of people that you are. I know what the brotherhood is all about. But brass knuckles, big six foot three, 285 pound Tony Atlas, supposed to be a big champion, uses brass knuckles. Explain yourself. Well, listen, my little gerbilish friend. You gotta understand something. We do anything to win. Anything. More memories and mayhem here on Wrestling War Classics from 1993. A recap as Tito Santana takes on L.A. Gore and is about to find out why Manny Fernandez is one of the sneakiest rats in wrestling. Big on Mr. Santana. And uh, when you see what happened at the conclusion of this contest, your feelings on professional wrestling, I'm sure, will change. If you think that respect is a big part of the IWCCW and pro wrestling in general, perhaps your attitude will change. And when the raging bull Manny Fernandez rears his ugly face, you will certainly see that he does not believe in respect. L.A. Gore taking over on Tito Santana. I'm Brian Webster along with Biv Jenkins as we bring you some action recap from just one short week ago. This is quite a hard recap to do, Brian. Um, quite a sad day in wrestling in the IWCCW. It was quite a good match right here. I mean, L.A. Gore was trying as hard as he could even though he was trying to do a little bit of his own cheating. And we're getting ready for the wrap-up right here. Tito Santana, vintage flying forearm right there, and a victorious Tito Santana. And the crowd loves it. And uh, you've got to excuse me, Biv, I, I am just so disgusted with the actions that uh, 
It's very it's, difficult. It's very difficult to get through this. I, 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 I am beside I mean, myself. myself. Tito's up there. The fans are loving him. He's up there getting all the adulation he justly deserves because, I mean, he's, he is a professional. He's a champion. There is absolutely no doubt about that, and the fans love him. There was absolutely no way that you would expect the kind of treatment that the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez would give to such a professional and such a champion as Tito Santana. And I'll tell you, Santana always taking the time, as you can see, to shake hands with the many fans in attendance, always taking a moment to say hello, sign autographs, take a photo or two with some fans about ringside, and really appreciates the support of the crowd, because after all, the crowd is what got Tito Santana where he is with that support. And there you see the despicable Raging Bull Manny Fernandez oh. pile driving, not only to the mat, but almost through the mat, Tito Santana. This was an absolutely uncalled for, disgusting display of unsportsmanlike conduct. And I've got to tell you something, if the governing board does nothing about this disgusting display, it is, it is certainly a sad day in the world of professional wrestling. It sure is, Brian, but I'll tell you, I got a feeling that the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez is going to get his come up in. Well, I certainly hope so. This is this this we don't is need a, to see any more of this. Brian. This is a miscarriage of justice. Go to something else. Please. We don't need to see this. I mean, anymore. enough is enough. Please go, go. Oh. It's absolutely despicable, Brian. I just can't believe it. I mean, we're, why are we even showing this more? I mean, we shouldn't give him any more. He's already got it. It's just absolutely horrible. Despicable. How's that old saying go? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Can Tito Santana really trust a guy like Manny Fernandez? Let's take a look. Of course, after what happened, Santana's a little bit leery to shake the hand of the Raging Bull. Raging Bull, very sincere. Yep. Oh no, look out! A Pearl Harbor job done by the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez with that ring microphone, pounding away on Tito Santana. It's Another again, Pearl Brian, Harbor. I, I cannot believe it. This is like deja vu. Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez coming in, offering the handshake as a sign of peace. Santana bought it. Oh look at this. Gosh. He is paying the price right now. Manny Fernandez has not changed a bit. He's injured. And this is not over, Brian, at all. Look at that. Raging Bull so proud. This is disgusting. He's right here, an old friend, Tito Santana. Thank you, George. I hope circumstances were a little bit different, George. You saw what happened to me. And let me th tell you the story behind this. Manny Fernandez and I do go back a long ways. But I don't like you, Manny Fernandez. You know, as far as I'm concerned, you know it, Manny knows it, Tito Santana got the biggest reception than any other professional star that came into the IWCCW, and Manny Fernandez wasn't very happy about that. So what does he do? He just feeds off of that. And he, he really tricked me into something that I wasn't expecting. George, and you know what I'm talking about. Tito, I was real surprised when he stuck out his hand and you, that you actually shook hands with him. Well, he you had know me. his background, you, you knew all about it. George, he had me fooled for a second. But I learned something, Manny Fernandez. I learned one thing, my man. I learned that you will not see my back again. I know what kind of a man you are. You know, you brag about Manny Fernandez is the IWCCW, and no one is going to come here and take it over. Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to make you a promise. I'm going to make you a promise that I'm going to keep Manny Fernandez. You're standing on top of that mountain, and you took care of my back. You put a weapon to me. 
But when it comes time that you and I meet face to face, my man, you're coming off that mountain. Because if it's the last thing I do, Manny, I'm going to take care of you. Arriba! We are set for action. Featured time, Tito Santana and the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez. Let's go right down to ringside. Off the Raging Bull, like a bull himself. Look out, out in front. Fernandez off the other side and went a back body drop. And Tito Santana has come for a fight. And look at this, he's all over the Raging Bull. He's not here for a wrestling match, Brian. He's here for a for revenge, there's no other way around it. We knew this would not be pretty, and boy, oh boy, it isn't. It's a ball, Oh, look line. at that, Santana just slamming the head of the racing bull right into the canvas and pounding away on Manny Fernandez, who's trying to escape, and Santana doesn't want to let him go anywhere. I've never seen Tito Santana acting like this ever, Brian. Santana kicked off, and the racing bull goes outside. Oh, look out, Santana going out right after him. Oh, look out, what a right hand by Tito Santana. What a Head outside the square circle. And look at that, Larry Jumbo coming back with a couple of rights. And there's a big jump. You know, Ashley Bryan. Oh, Santana just popped one on the Larry Jumbo. Ashley Bryan, it's my, it's my thought here. Oh, that, look out uh, of right the high table. I thought, I thought that it was Manny's intent all along to get this wrestling match to come through here. He's back in the ring, he has to wrestle, but I'll tell you, it's a brawl right now, Brian. This has been, so far, anything goes. The referee having a tough time oh, taking control. What a headbutt by Manny Fernandez. Tito Santana slowed down considerably after that one. I'll tell you, it's the ex-Matador taking on the Raging Bull right here, Brian. And the Raging Bull seems to be in control. And this crowd getting behind Tito Santana. Nice block by Santana and a nice elbow. Now returns the favor to the Raging Bull. Fernandez begging off, going to the other corner. Santana following him and introducing him to that turnbuckle. Oh, look out, there's a nice back kick. Oh, look at that chop right into the forehead of Tito Santana. This has been an all-out war. I don't think it's really been a wrestling match, Brian. It's been more just a battle out there. Almost like a street fight. There's a snap man. The problem is, in this situation, Manny Fernandez has got the upper hand in a street fight, I would think. Fernandez drops a knee on the forehead of Tito Santana. Although, I'll tell you, I've never seen Tito Santana quite as, as just fanatic about wanting to take a person out as, as, I, as I've seen right here with Manny Fernandez. You know, we have taken a look at that despicable attack by the raging bull Manny Fernandez, and we showed in sequence exactly what has led up to this, and the the, the, the carnage continues. We've been talking about this one for years, Brian. Manny Fernandez feels there is only room for one Latin superstar in the International World Class Championship Wrestling and in professional wrestling as a whole, and he wants to teach a lesson, and Santino Santana packing, but Santana will hear none of that. Santana wants to stay right where he is in International World Class. And this is a war that has started, and I'll tell you, I'll be very surprised if it finishes here. These two guys will not give up. Santana wants revenge. Raging Bull Fernandez wants him out, and this one is a real all-out battle. Well, I agree with you, Brian. I'll tell you, no matter who wins this match today, it's going to be coming back for more because I don't think either one of these people are going to be happy with being defeated in this situation. There's a shot right to the back from Tito Santana. By the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez. Fernandez now whipping Santana to the turnbuckle, and that's not going to feel too good at all. Oh. He took his time moving it. Oh, but look at that. Fernandez coming right back with a shoulder block into the midsection of Tito Santana. Another shoulder block into the midsection of Santana. Out in front. Nice reversal. And look at that whip into the turnbuckle by Tito Santana. Oh, lifts the knee right into the jaw. Does Raging Bull Manny Fernandez. And Santana is down on one knee. The Raging Bull continues to go to work. I'm just amazed by the ferocity and, and the force of these, impact, I mean, of these these hits they're doing to each other. I mean, they're trying to, they're trying to kill each other. Absolutely right? trying to eliminate one another from International World Class Championship Wrestling. Surfboard now by the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, and finally a wrestling hold. That's true, actually. We haven't seen many in this match, have we? This crowd really getting behind. Tito Santana, former World Wrestling Federation Intercontinental Champion, former Tag Team Champion. The man has done it all in professional wrestling and has faced a vicious attack 
by the Raging Bull Manny Fernandez by returning a challenge. Fernandez forced to answer the challenge, otherwise facing banishment from international world-class championship wrestling for life. And I would have to say that the governing board of the IWCCW made a fair and just decision in forcing the Raging Bull to take this matchup. But I'll tell you, Brian, I'm standing by my thought that I think this is Ma uh, Manny Fernandez's plan all along to make sure that once and for all, right off the bat, it was proven that he was going to be the great Latin star here in the IWCCW. As the Raging Bull holds on to that surfboard type maneuver and look at him drive the head right in between the shoulder blades of Tito Santana. continues to do some damage on Tito Santana. Brings him out oh. to the center of the ring and snap bears him down to the canvas and drives the knee right into the back of Santana. And right back into that surfboard style maneuver, stretching those shoulder muscles and stretching the arms back in really a way they were not meant to be stretched. When you have the bulk and the strength of Manny Fernandez, I mean, when you have someone that can maneuver like Akita Santana, you're really going to try to wear him down like that. Oh, oh, right on the jaw. And think... Manny Fernandez has been rocked by that particular escape. Rocked is not the word for it, Brian. Here's a shot downstairs by Tito Santana trying to mount the comeback. But look at that. Rage and bull Manny Fernandez coming right back on Tito Santana. Fernandez now scoops him up and slams Santana down to the canvas. I was going to say, Brian, I think it would take more than that to have that, uh, have many Fernandez to take him out. He goes to the top rope here, Brian. Uh-oh. Is he going all the way? Yes, he is. He's going to go all the way. Good right here. Oh, he oh, is. Look out. Up goes Santana. Oh. Down comes big air. Legion Bull will call that one. It looks like an airplane come crashing down on the runway on that one. Look at that Santana now. Pounding away. Santana looking for revenge. Mounting the second rope now. And look out. Pounding away in the head of the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez. Five, six, seven, eight times just hammering and hammering away on the Raging Bull. I'll tell you, Brian, look at him. He wants to shake hands now. Oh, no. Down like a big oak tree goes Manny Fernandez. Santana drops the knee across the track. Santana for a cover, one, is that two, and only a count of two, and barely escaping is Manny Fernandez, and look at the look on Fernandez. He's seeing like four different ring posts there, Brian. He, he may be sorry that he pearl harbored Tito Santana, oh, but look at that, Santana goes for a drop kick, and there's nobody home, he landed right on the back of his head. And that's a very hard match for it, Brian. And Manny is right back in there after Tito. Fernandez now with Santana. Oh, he went for some sort of flying maneuver and Santana wasn't home. He touched that hole. Look at that. Two guards sending Fernandez over the top rope. Really, really hard. Hit the back of his neck right on that ring apron. Uh-oh. Santana with the chair construction down in the back of the Raging Bull That's Manny Fernandez. Right there, Brian. I have never seen that. And that ring has lost total control of this one. Look out. Shoulder right into the ring post. And Fernandez looks like he's high tailing it back to the dressing room. But Santana's following him. Look out. One of wrestling's biggest wars had to be Tito Santana versus Greg Valentine. Let's go to Pennsylvania and hear what Tito has to say. Tito Santana, ladies and gentlemen. Tito, it's great to have you here, and obviously your fans jam-packing this arena, and of course, worldwide, you've been a great champion, but I'll tell you one thing, I know it's no secret to you, there are a lot of top wrestlers that are after that piece of gold, that are after that championship belt, and are following you very closely. Well, that's exactly right, you know. This is what it's all about, the ICW. As you can see, he has a lot of great fans. And I am very happy to be their champion and a wrestling champion at that. And I haven't backed down from anybody. And as far as I'm concerned, 
the ICW has some great challengers. You know, you got the likes of Tony Atlas. You got the likes of uh, Scott Sputsky. You got even Crash, who I think is worthy of a title uh, match. You've also got a lot of other great names. You got Coco Beware. You got Superfly Jimmy Snuka. You got uh, Johnny Gunn, Jim Powers. A lot of great wrestlers in the ICW, but I happen to be their champion. And I guarantee you, Tito Santana will put the belt up on the line to the number one contender. Tony, there's one name that you left out in that list, and that is the number one contender, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Well, I didn't know that Greg the Hammer Valentine was the number one contender, but as far as I'm concerned, if he is the number one contender, I don't see anything wrong with Greg and I going at each other in the ring because I'm ready for Greg whenever. The reason I came out here, Tito Santana, as you mentioned, everybody's name in the ICW except one. Until he mentioned it. Greg the Hammer Valentine, I am the number one contender, and you know it, Tito Santana. Let me tell you why I didn't mention your name is because you are the farthest thing from my mind, Hammer. Well, I'm sure I would be the farthest thing from your mind since I'm the man that put you out of wrestling not too long ago. You're scared of me. Why don't you put that belt where your mouth is? And I, I see you have something in your hands, and it looks like an official international championship wrestling contract, and it is signed by Mr. Valentine. We got a contract right here for Greg the Hammer Valentine to fight Tito Santana tonight for the gold belt. Sign on the dotted line if you're mad enough. Hold on just a moment. Hold on just a moment. We, have, we haven't got time for you to read that. I don't want to stand out here four hours. The people want to stand around here wait for you to read because you can't even read. Just sign it. Well, I do want to read and see what's on this contract. The man had, hold on, hold on, has every right to read a contract regarding a future challenge. And there it is, there it is, the signed contract. There it is, the signed contract to put the title. I'm concerned, why don't, the contract is signed. Let's go in the ring right now, Hammer, I'm ready for you. Well, Mr. Valentine, we're gonna go in the ring, but I'm gonna go back and comb my hair and I'm gonna sit around and, and just evaluate the situation, Tito Santana. I'm not gonna rush into anything, but I'm gonna wrestle you tonight. As far as I'm concerned, this Elvis impersonator and yourself are gonna find out tonight why Tito Santana is a ICW champion, and I guarantee you, I intend to remain the champion here tonight. Arriba! week right here on ICW Professional Wrestling, you're going to see yours truly, Greg the Hammer Valentine, along with the king, the living legend, two living legends wrapped up in one, going out there in the combat zone to take on Tito Santana for the ICW heavyweight title. You've got the gold around your waist now, Tito Santana, but not too long from now, you're going down to the hammer because the hammer's going to crush you like a grape. Tito Santana's going down. <laughs> Just minutes away, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Just minutes away. You know, you're going to come with a figure four leg lock. But don't forget one thing, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Tito Santana, taught by the Briscoe brothers, to use the figure four leg lock. So I guarantee you one thing. If there's an opportunity today, Greg the Hammer Valentine, you're going to find out just exactly what Tito Santana's figure four feels like. And if I have a chance 
A little revenge today, Greg the Hammer Valentine, if I have a chance to maybe send you to the hospital and experience what I experienced months and years ago at your hands. Greg the Hammer Valentine, I guarantee you one thing. Just like it happened yesterday, like I told you last week, I have never forgotten what happened at your hands okay. to my leg. It was very painful, Greg the Hammer Valentine, but it's over and done with. And I'm back, and I'm here to stay, and I guarantee you, the belt will stay around my waist when it's over and done with. Te garantizo, cobarde. Tito Santana triunfiará en contra de Greg the Hammer Valentine. I'm ready. Arriba! And his opponent tonight, hailing from Tacula, Mexico, weighing in at 240 pounds, the heavyweight champion of the ICW, Tito Santana. Ladies Welcome back, everyone. Mike Mittman and Ringside, along with wrestling analyst Bill May. Like to let you know about due to certain stipulations in the contract signed tonight between the two of these contenders, certain things such as a count out, a disqualification, or a submission will count the same as a pinfall, therefore allowing the exchange of the title belt. And as I started to say, Phil, we have the international championship belt on the line, the heavyweight title up for grabs. And as our ring announcer, a uh, young gentleman, Steve Mittman, I, I think I know him. Yeah, I believe he resembled that remark. Yes. Uh, as Steve said, this is uh, block. some strange things yeah, in there. Well, well, what's happening? Uh, I, I, I was just catching it. that. As you, you, you saw what happened, uh, well, <laughs> uh, in that contract that uh, Santana had signed a little earlier, uh, I guess that's what happens when you sign things without checking, uh, no, he didn't read checking it, it out. Yeah, so what happens? Um, what, what's, the, what's the real deal here? According to Steven, I'd like to get him to come over if we can to uh, clarify that. Well, he said a, a, a submission now. and a count out will count the same as... All right, we have our ring announcer, Steve Mittman. This is the first I know about this. You're telling us that a count out and submission will count the same as a count out. Is that what you're saying uh, they told you? That's all I can tell you. The officials have come to me, and the word is, the official word, that is how it is. A count out and a submission. A count out, a disqualification, or a submission would count the same as a pinfall, making it eligible for the, the championship. Right. All right, we thank you, Steve, for that. You know, you live and you learn. I just learned something new. I had no idea about that a minute earlier. And a hip toss by the champion, Tito Santana. Thank you, Steve. Wow, we, you know, things are um, a you. little bit unusual. <laughs> but again, you know, folks, it pays to read what you sign. You know, just don't put your name on something. You know, you better check that out. But you know what? You can you, you, a step over toe hold by Valentine and a roll out by the champion. You know what? That guy right there, the king. He had something to do with that contract. You got to know that he had something to do with that, that his lawyers wrote that contract. And, um, you know, what can I say? Santana signed it. He lives with it. And uh, you just don't know. But, you know, the king. Wow, what a contract. What a contract. It's, a really, a, it's really incredible uh, to... Uh, no, you got to read things. You just don't go ahead and sign something. But he apparently was just so. Uh, oh, a swing, body block by uh, the champion Tito Santana. Exp and, you know, especially fool when you know that the manager of Valentine must have had a hand in running that contract and presenting it to the ICW uh, Championship Committee. And they figure, hey, if both wrestlers agree on this. Let it fly, let it go. Yeah, but, it, but, you know, uh, Santana, not faulting him, but perhaps should have given a little bit more time into reading it. But you know what? That's where Valentine came in. He goaded him into doing it. Exactly. He pressured him in. And, uh, he, he almost mocked him into signing it. 
and what was he going to do? Not sign it? You know, and Tito Santana is too proud of a champion, always has been, always will be, to walk away from a challenge like that. He's too gutsy. He's too tough. And now there is the champion with the oh, turning around. And look at this. Oh, my. Atomic knee drop by the champion and a kick by the champion, Santana. And a right uppercut by Santana. And this capacity crowd filled to the rafters is loving every minute of this heavyweight title bout. Well, that's the, the thing you mentioned, a good point, Mike. One of the things about Tito Santana, he will never, never, ever shirk away, will never, ever walk away from a challenge. He will take on all comers, and that's why he is one of the truly great champions here that we've ever seen here at International Championship Wrestling. Into the ropes, and look at that. Oh, goes for a hip toss, and he gets a solid right cross from the number one contender, Greg Hammer Valentine. And Phil, you know, the reason Santana is such a great champion, he's fought everybody. He's fought everybody that has ever been in any federation in the top 10 in the last 15 years. He's fought them. He's got an amazing record. He's been there in there with everybody. And he's beaten 90% of them. That's right. And now off the ropes and into the midsection with that boot is the Hammer Valentine. And you better believe, watch that set. Keep your eyes glued to that screen. You got to watch out for his master hold. He is the master of the figure four leg lock. No wrestler so far that has ever entered the square circle has ever gotten out of the figure four leg lock once it has been fully applied. Just so much, uh, well, he's, like we said, such a master of it and has done such a, he's perfected it but wrestling all the years as he's been a professional wrestler. And right now, he's just trying to wear down his opponent. And, it's, and, and that certainly could take its toll over a period of time. Oh, Santana trying to smash his way out off the ropes. The cha oh, my. And he gets caught by the number one contender, Greg the Hammer Valentine, and a count of two. You know, that's interesting. You, you know, the resilience. I think one of the key words of resiliency with both of these guys. You, one looks like he's got control. The other guy comes right back. And uh, this is uh, And a chicken wing go suplex forth. going for it. Oh. And wow. You know, not that the only move he has is the figure four leg luck. We don't mean to say that. He's got a lot of great moves. Look at that elbow dropping in by the contender, the number one ranking contender, Greg the Hammer Valentine. But like a, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, looks like it. Oh, my goodness. This could be trouble. Is he going for it? No, uh, he's not going for it. Oh, that has to be painful, though. That and again, we must mention, if you're going to get out of it, you got to get out of the figure four leg lock while he's putting it on. Once it is fully applied, no wrestler to date has ever survived the figure four leg lock. As a matter of fact, he's ended the career permanently, ended the careers of at least 20 to 25 wrestlers that I know about. And in other parts of the world, I'm sure there's other wrestlers he put out that I don't know about. <laughs> That's right. But you know, gamely trying to fight back. He can barely stand, but he's trying to fight back. And right now he just, is in agony as he hits the canvas. And as you say, fight back he will. This proud young champion from Tecula, Mexico, one of the old time ring greats, Tito Santana and Greg the Hammer Valentine. And there is the king, if we can get a shot of him. A very smiley king, oh my. Oh, the king coming over here, what, what? The Greg, uh, Greg Rules, that is uh, the, the king oh himself. Oh my, I'm um, all shook up, yeah. what can I say? Oh man, I'm glad you said it. And yeah. now, he's going for the figure four and Santana kicks him off. Oh, I gotta tell you, he needed every ounce of strength just to do that against the hammer. And a chop to the throat by the contender, number one ranking contender, He's trying Hammer to put it on. Oh. Small. And it's a small package. And I'll tell you, the action is so fast and furious. And there's the king. We got a shot of him. That's just incredible. 
but that's what you see here on the ICW. You know, I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear the King sing uh, one of these weeks here. Uh, you really? You sure you want to? Yes, I understand. Uh, you know, he's really fantastic. Uh, really? Yes. Well, all right. I guess I'll have to take your word for it. I guess. And right now, you can bet that Greg Valentine isn't singing "Love Me Tender" to Tito Santana as he traps him on the middle ring uh, strand of ropes there. And oh my, and Santana is certainly not in the best of condition right now. Uh oh, there's the signal. Yeah, it looks and like he's, he's going, going for it. Yeah, he's going to try to figure for a leg block. This is going to be oh. Didn't quite, uh, well, he went with one leg anyway, and uh, two minutes, he, he's not ready to finish him off, Mike. No, he's not ready for it. He wants to inflict more punishment if he can. And the crowd chanting Tito, Tito, as Santana lifts him up and brings him back with that knee, but look at, look at Santana coming back from that, and Santana, wouldn't this be funny? Santana doing his own uh, figure two leg lock. <laughs> and Santana going for the figure oh, four. Oh, look out, look out, this could be it. We could see one upset here if he could. What beat. is going on? Look at this. And it may be Valentine to submit. Wouldn't that be something, uh, what a, could that be incredible to actually lose by what has actually been his actual strong point over the years? Isn't it funny if he would lose by the very hold that he invented? Exactly. That's just it. But the one thing he knows, he knows how to put it on, but does he know how to get out of it? And can he muster the strength to get out of this hole? These fans are absolutely going totally crazy. And he looks like Valentine managed to get over, crawl over to the rope. And that was an incredible amount of strength to do that. I have to say this is one of the greatest title matches I've seen in many, many, many years. Just an incredible amount of uh, going back and forth and back and forth with these two. Uh, Tito Santana. You know, I can tell you something, Phil. You take the list of opponents that Tito has fought. Take the ones that Valentine has been in the ring and put them. You have a who's who. There hasn't been any better. No. Oh, oh man. The referee gets knocked down. It looks like Valentine threw Santana into the referee. And now, wait a minute. There's something in the hand of Valentine. And now Santana reaches down and picks it up. He picks it up. He's going for the pin, but the referee still dazed. Referee has no clue. He is out of Santana it. Santana has him. He's down. And the referee. I don't. I don't know what there's there been a decision he here. He tapped. He tapped Santana on the shoulder. I guess he counted him out. He 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 got the pin. I I, I think. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. I'm not sure we. I saw him any... say to Santana. He patted him on the shoulder. He must have counted. We'll have to wait. I don't know. Uh, I really, you know, from well, our vantage see. point. Referee wait, is staggering over to our ring announcer. Wait, wait till uh, well, Steve then. Mittman gets the uh, the word, from the referee telling him. But it appears that Santana. Uh, Wrestling fans, the winner of this match, due to a disqualification and because of a foreign object, Greg the Hammer Valentine. Wait a minute. And new ICW Heavyweight Champion. Wait a minute here! And we have a new Wait champion. Wait a minute! Oh, this is incredible! An outrage, Tito Santana! Wait a minute! Well, you can't blame him. We're not going to sit here and take this. Wait this a is, minute! This is ridiculous. Come it on. was Valentine that brought that foreign object. Yes. That's for As sure. you can see, Tito not only had his problems with managers, referees, and Greg Valentine, he also had his problems with a woman, namely China who at the time of this interview was the WWE Intercontinental Champion. Hello everyone, this is Bill After from WOW Magazine. They've given me some airtime to talk to Tito Santana. I have a question to ask you, Tito. This is kind of loaded. As you know, well, ever, as everyone knows, you were one of the greatest Intercontinental Champions in history. Recently, China, a woman, won the Intercontinental Belt. How would Tito Santana, back in the mid-80s, have stacked up against the current China? 
Well, I, I don't think there's a doubt uh, in my mind that uh, China would have got a little uh, high knee kicked around. Ooh. You know, I don't respect that woman. There a lot of people, Bill, as you well know, have claimed that they are the greatest intercontinental champions ever. Absolutely. But I have never really come out and say, said that I was the best ever. But I will come out and say that I guarantee you, if I had to fight, and I don't like to hit a woman, if I had to go up against China, as soon as the bell rang, China, I forget that you are a woman because you almost don't look like one. And I don't want to insult you. You're getting a little personal now, I mean. May I, maybe you have to get personal okay. because okay. she is in a man's okay. game. Right. If she's a man enough, I mean, woman enough to challenge a man for a title and take it, what is this world coming to? China, I think you're looking at the best intercontinental champion ever. Well, it would be interesting to see if uh, China would, uh, are you challenging her? Oh, uh, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if the she whole would, world is I don't know her. if she would like to find out uh, what it is to fight a real wrestler. Woo. That's what I'm telling you, China. It's a different ball game. The style that Tito Santana brings into the ring and the style that you are going up against. Entirely a different ball game, China. Arriba! The man is not sports entertainment. Some great memories right there from another big rivalry, Santana versus Rick Martel. Of course, at one time, the two would hold the World Tag Team Championship. Those days are long gone, however. After feuding with Rick Martel, Santana would eventually make his way back to the WWF, where he entertained a new generation of fans as El Matador. We hope you enjoyed the Latin sensation, Tito Santana.